if you guys can believe it, with everything I talked about yesterday and how long the video was, there was actually something I did forget to mention. Let's talk about that, shall we? Good morning and happy Sunday, everybody. So, yesterday when I initiated the challenge of trying to guess, for you guys to guess, what the main course of my full course menu is, I actually neglected to remind, to mention what the prize was going to be. Because there actually is a prize if you can figure it out. Well, for start, and then I'm going to explain what it is. Well, for starters, you do get bragging rights, which, as I've said many times in the past, bragging rights are the best kind of rights. But more importantly, I will personally invite you to the location of where I'm actually going to be filming the video on day 550, and you can be a guest star on it. In fact, if it actually is an item that you know and you've had before, you can actually share your thoughts on that as well, as well as any other aspects of a full course menu if you actually you know, have one. So, yeah. And not only could you mention your thoughts on that particular item itself, but you can mention your experiences with the places that you guess where it is, at least for me. Or you can talk about the best places where you get it. So, many possibilities are at play when you win here. And I also will not narrow it down to one winner. See, it's going to be 4th of July, which is what day 550 is. So, let's just say the location of where I'm going to be, you know, filming this video is definitely going to be apropos for 4th of July. So, if you are able to come and, you know, you know, uh, be able to, uh, excuse me, you know, make a guess and, you know, See, say what it is, you know, you should. So, yes, there actually are prizes at stake. And because I am fair, and because it actually is possible that more than one person could get it, you know, I'm going to have more than one winner. But you do get bragging rights if you're the first one to do it. So, there's definitely... So, you get extra bragging rights. I mean, you get bragging rights for being able to figure it out and you know, even more bragging rights for being the first one to do it. It's like, it's literally the equivalent of like going to the comments section, typing in first. So that's, that, that ought to be neat. Again, all you really have to do when it comes to making guesses is seek me out in person, which does mean putting down the, you know, computer screen you're looking at or your phone or... If you happen to be watching this on TV, because there are some TVs that play YouTube videos on your TV, you know, turn that off and come seek me out in person. And I actually mentioned this on Facebook yesterday, but you know what the inherently cruel thing about that rule is? You have to come seek me out in order to make any guesses at all. But at any given time, I could be anywhere. For all you know, I literally could be sitting here from now until July 4th. I'm not actually going to be sitting here for that long. I mean, I have stuff to do. You know, I have lots of videos to make, other things to talk about. You know, other things to, um, not to mention, I do plan on, you know, giving you guys hints for you to contemplate on as to what this item and the places where you can get it is. So... By all means, you know, I mean, the way I have it designed is the hints I'm going to be giving you, they should be vague enough where, you know, you're you're not going to figure it out outright, but mysterious, but, but, you know, you know, good enough hints where it is possible to figure it out. If you really are, you know, astute, I suppose. So, yes. Again, have fun, guys.
you know, I really hope that, you know, some of you guys actually, um, you know, try and figure it out. But, again, you have until the 4th of July, and it's June 2nd, so you do have time. You actually have over a month, so I would use that time wisely. But, actually, I did say you can have as many guesses as you want, so... I still recommend you use your time wisely because, again, it may just be barely over a month, but if there's one thing I have stated is that time actually moves a lot faster than what we normally um, see it as. You know, the best example was, you know, my brother got engaged in July of 2014 and it was July of 2016 when he got married. You know, those two years, flew by like that and that was two years so suffice to say a month is going to fly by pretty quick if you're not careful just want to give you the advice the only question is how many hints do I have in order to help you out and at what point am I going to give you said hints because obviously I have more than one I actually do want to be fair and You know, I do want to space it out evenly so you don't get a hint, like, say, every single day. Because there's no way I have 30-plus hints to give you. Especially when that would make things far too easy. So, I would need to space it out, but I'll let you know more about that um, later. So, yes. Again, have fun. You know, try and be smart about it, and... If nothing else, even if you end up not getting it at all, you still get to see me in person, which is always a good thing. We all, hey, listen, social interaction in person is the best kind of social interaction. At least I've always thought so. So with that said, I did mention that um, Tony R's yesterday had the, uh, you know, when I recommended the, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, what to get there. Outside of, you know, what the meat dish on my full course menu is. I also mentioned um, the sides you get. I was actually wrong about one thing. It's not um, it's not smashed potatoes they have. It's actually scalloped potatoes au gratin. That's what it is. So, yeah, that's actually something that, you know, whenever my family does go there and we do order sides, you know... Yeah, you know, that's that's one thing we get. But again, for me, when it comes to getting the Delmonico or the slow oven roasted prime rib at Tony R's, if I ever do get sides, my go to's are the caramelized onions and the sauteed mushrooms. Although, again, there are other things on there too. I mean, again, the scalp potatoes are gratin. I'm actually finally looking at the menu right now because I actually forgot to do that. Um oh. I'm sorry. They actually do have a Oh, it's, they do have smashed potatoes, but it's called smashed potatoes of the day, which means they're smashed potatoes, but they contain flavors that the chef decides upon. So that's neat. It's actually, come to think of it, that's actually really original. I like that. Um, let's see, they have onion rings, hand cut fries, you know, and they have, you know, grilled asparagus, which, wait, no, no, I'm, Sorry, I thought that grilled asparagus was all, because if you do at least order the Delmonico at Tony R's, it comes with like a vegetable on the side already, and more often than not, it's green beans, but I literally just almost confused green beans with asparagus. Well, in terms of like thickness and length, they can kind of be similar, but yes, there's that, you know, grilled vegetables, um, deep fried Brussels sprouts. I actually do love Brussels sprouts. I know that technically they're known for having um, a sort of a methane-like odor, but I love them. Brussels sprouts are good for you, you know. And um, let's see. Again, they have the... Uh, oh yeah, I said the... Uh, you know what? I should take that back. I did... I actually had the hand-cut fries, I believe, once. And they were okay. They were, they were Actually, they, it's Tony R's. They're more than just okay. They were really, really, really good. Everything on Tony R's is good, actually. Again, you know, Tony R's, 
is the best place in all of Corning. Which leads back to the hint I gave you guys, you know, yesterday. And that is, you know, Tony R's has, like, essentially my meat dish. Well, that and Antique Inn, but Tony R's is what I was talking about the most. It has my meat dish, one of the best French onion soups I've ever had, one of the best Caesar salads I've ever had. And, you know, it is the best restaurant in Corning. It is, you know, the culinary jewel of the city of Corning. And again, it's barely over 10 years old. So that should tell you just how good it is right there. Which brings up to the point where the item that is my main course and the places where you can get it would technically be nothing short of the GOAT. But, you know, make goat plural. So, oh, right. On the very off chance that there's, like, maybe one person that doesn't know what goat means, it means greatest of all time. And on day 550, when I do talk about it, you'll know what I mean then. But, again, you guys have a month to, you know, a little over a month, actually, in order to figure out and make your guesses. I'm actually anxious. To, I'm actually curious. Not anxious. I'm curious to see what, if any of you guys have guesses at all. I would very much like to see if you can figure it out. Not just because you know, you know, guessing is fun, but you know, I think if there's one thing you need to understand is that it's a big world out there, and you know, you can find great food anywhere. So, in a way. You know, maybe when trying to figure it out, maybe you can get think of what your experiences are with this item or any other item on a full course menu that you want to come up with. And that's actually another thing I didn't mention yesterday that I normally mention in my full course menu videos. Try coming up with your own full course menu. I mean, if you want to have the exact same one as mine, I'm certainly not going to stop you. Or, you know, or if you think that Everything on my full course menu is, you know, complete garbage. You know, I'm not going to stop you from believing that either. Your full course menu is exactly what you make it. I mean, I personally designed mine to not only consist of great food and great ingredients, but you can also get a lot of it for, you know, a good price. And, you know, it should at least satisfy you to some capacity. So, yeah, that's... That sort of gives you a reason as to why I the items I have are what they are. But you're more than welcome to come with your own. And, you know, if you want to make comments, if you want to put in the comments as to, you know, what your menu is, that's great. I hope you do. Because it's interesting to see if if we, we could have the exact same without even trying. We really could have the exact same full course menu without even trying. That's That's the neat thing. Or, it, again, it could be completely different. You know, maybe it really could consist of all vegan or vegetarian items. Although I have no idea what the protocol is, if that is the case. Again, you know, the manga didn't, the manga and anime really didn't specify on that part. But everything else goes. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm uh, a little bit tired. But that's okay. I'm certainly not tired to make videos for you guys every single day. So, again, have fun trying to make guesses, guys. I'm anxious to see what... Okay. Why am I saying I'm anxious? I'm not anxious at all. I'm actually about... I'm literally as calm, cool, and collected as a cucumber. I have no... By the way, it's not a cucumber, in case anyone's wondering. This is what the item is. It's, it's not a cucumber. It wouldn't be that. It would not even be remotely that simple don't worry there's actually there's actually a bit of complexity to what the item is and way and by extension the places where you can get it but again we'll get to that in due time and who knows maybe one of you guys can figure out what it is and i'll tell you if you're right or not it should be fun though like favorite share hit that subscribe button Follow me on those social media platforms. I am humbled that I made this video for all of you guys who watch and enjoy for today. I hope we all have a wonderful Sunday. 
And remember, for the guys I want to talk to, I'm always going to be here to London here. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices.